Can everybody see me? Okay, good. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Father, we just thank you for today. We thank you for how far you have brought us. We thank you for this training. We thank you for this initiative. We thank you for the mind and the ideas that you've put together to form this. We thank you for the lives of the teenagers that are present here. We also thank you for their parents that will be joining or that have given their children the opportunity to join King of Glory, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, as we commence this training, we ask Holy Spirit that you guide us in the name of Jesus, that the words that we'll speak will not just be mere words, but they will be words that will illuminate the hearts of these ones and it will cause a rapid impact in their lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, most gracious God. We open it in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Dami. Thank you. Uh, quickly, we are going to be doing an introduction. Um, first, I'm going to start with me. My name is Topper Fortune, and um, I'm going to be co-hosting this event. Um, let me see if we have other teenagers around okay i can only see tammy and david here okay okay there's molly there's in summer in the summer right okay Quickly, we are going to be doing some introduction. I'm going to be starting with you, David. I would like you to, to just unmute yourself or let me, you are going to be talking to us about your likes, your hobbies and everything we need to know about you. And um, quickly, we're going to be doing that introduction as, as fast as we can. David, over to you. Hello. Good afternoon. Good evening, Good evening. Ma. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, Ma. I'm the, my name is David. I'm 13 years old. Uh, mm -hmm. I like drawing. I like coding. I like... I like teaching others. I like... I like having friends, keeping friends. I like gisting, I like eating. And <laughs> yeah, that's all. Well done. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I like eating too, you know. <laughs> I'm a foodie. So good to have you here, David. And I Thank hope you, I'm very sure you're going to enjoy this. Welcome, David. You're welcome. Thank but you, so I have Oluani Femi Kenyi Day. Please. Okay. Mm, oh. Good afternoon. Good evening, ma. Good day. Uh, this one said I love your doo doo. Who is this one? Ma, my name is Kenyi Day Femi. I'm 13 <laughs> years old and I love singing. Huh. Who is this one? You can go ahead, Nifemi. My name is Kendi Nifemi. I'm, I'm 13 years old and I love singing. Okay. Likes, dislike, anything we need to know about you? I like people that are straightforward and I love eating. Okay. What are your expectations from this? Mm, my expectations are I'll be a better person in the future and I'll be able to put people ahead of me. All right, that's good. 
Don't worry, you're going to enjoy this. That I can tell you. So I'm going to quickly ask Molly. Molly, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, let's let's hear from you. Um hi. Hi, my name is Molly and I am going to be 14 on Friday. Um, oh. I like to read. I like outside, sunshine. Um, I don't like loud places. Yeah. Well, that's, that's interesting. So what are your expectations, Molly? Um, I hope that I can pull something out from this class that I don't know and be able to put it into my life in the future. Okay. That's good to hear. It's good to hear from you, Molly. And I'm very sure you're going to have a very awesome, interesting right here that I can tell you. Um, let me look. Um, we have Tammy, yeah. Yes, Tammy. I Tell can't um, turn my camera on because I'm doing my hair right now. Is that okay? But okay. So basically, the things that I like are like doing, um, reading books, doing chess, um, playing the piano. My likes are, I like to have fun. And the things that I just like is when people force you to things that you force you to do things that you don't want to do <laughs> and um my expectation here is just to make friends and have a good time um, of course you are sure gonna have a good time here well done well done welcome on board teens um this is teen pause who is excited to be here if you're excited please let me see you wave your hand or you know give me some thumbs up we are all excited to be here and I bet you this is going to be an interesting ride. Trust me, when I mean interesting, you're going to be blown away. Okay, uh, let me quickly check if we have more teens. Uh, right now I can't see any more, but as time goes on, once they join, they are going to be doing their introduction. But before I hand uh, the button to Sister Dami, I'm going to... Um, ask sis, mommy Olusha Ashiru to just give a welcome address. Mommy, are you there? I'm here, but um, hello and welcome everyone uh, to Team Pulse. It's exciting to be able to see this happen um, after weeks and weeks of planning. It's a privilege to have everyone join in. My special welcome goes to all the teenagers that are here. Welcome, it's good to have everyone join in. And um, I just want you to be open-minded, okay? So don't think of any experience, any learning experience as, oh, it's boring, I know. Um, or I don't know what they're doing there. Just be open-minded and just trust that they're gonna have a great time. And of course, if during the course of the um, training, whether it's this one week training or the other ones that, that are going to follow, if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, if you have any thoughts about anything we're doing, please don't feel uncomfortable about sharing. Just share with us. We want to hear from you. We want to see how it's going for you. And we also want to be able to improve on how we are reaching you. So if there's anything you don't like or something you like, you like for us to do more of, please let us know. And um, of course, we're willing to make changes to suit you as long as it's something that works with everybody else, okay? And also just a big um, thank you to everyone who's a part of the team making this happen. God bless you. And um, I pray that every seed you're sowing into the lives of these young ones, God will cause to germinate and bring a righteous harvest for you all in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, thank you for having me. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Sister Dami, off to you. Hello. 
Hi, everybody. It's so good to see us. Welcome, welcome again to David, Molly, Nifemi, Tammy, and just me. Okay, so just me. Do you want to change your name so that we know who you are and we can address you accordingly? And to all the other teenagers that are going to be watching this video afterwards, I know some of them might still be in school. I'm greeting you and I'm congratulating you for joining us here on this Team Pulse Leadership Initiatives just for you. So welcome again. And like um, Mommy Olushaya said, I got our idiots mentioned earlier. If there's anything- uh, Sorry, you, like who said? You mentioned like our ED, executive, our Thank executive you very director. Much. I, don't, I don't know all this mommy, whatever <laughs> are you are calling, what's that? Like our executive director mentioned earlier, if there are any suggestions that you have towards how you think that we should run the program, or maybe there's somebody that you'd like to see maybe a team mentor or a team coach that you'd love to see here. You can just make the suggestions on your group. Um, I want to believe that most of all of us here are on that group, um, your learning group. So you can just put it there or reach out to anybody on that group and just let us know anything that you want. It's open, so just make suggestions. So I just want to quickly run us through what will be happening in the course of this training. And I will be sharing my screen so that you have, you know what the expectations will be and you can prepare accordingly and have your schedules and everything cleared out for it. It's not rigid. That's why you always have replays to go back to. Okay, please let me know if you can see my screen clearly. Okay, great. Okay, so the, the initiative is starting off with a one week intensive training. So that one week intensive training is what we're going to be doing from today. So it's starting today up until Saturday, that's 6 p.m. every day up until Saturday, where you have classes every day and you have assessments every day where you drop the assessment on your learning platform. So if you haven't um, signed into the learning platform, I would enjoy you to do so. The link to the learning platform will be put in the chat box in the comment section. So if you haven't signed in, please sign in. That is where you can watch the replays and that is where you can find um, your assignment and any other updates that will be given concerning your work here. So that's what you're going to do for the first one week. So every day, so tomorrow, 6 p.m., next tomorrow, 6 p.m., up until Saturday, we'll be having intensive classes. Then after Saturday, we're going to be having just, sat after this sat last Saturday, we're going to be having weekly meetings. So only on, on Saturdays are we going to be meeting because we'll be reading a book. And so we'll not be having any live class throughout the week. And we also are aware that you're also going to be going to school or you have other engagements. So you have books to read. You'll be reading um, seven habits of highly effective teams. So we have broken down this schedule. This schedule is also attached to your learning platform so that you can have it and you can prepare. You have the book to read. You read a, certain, a chapter a day. You have assignments to turn in every day. And 6 p.m. on Saturday, you would share what you have learned with your group. You share what you have learned. So each and every one of us is going to be called upon at different times on different Saturdays. So you'd want to prepare for that and you want to show off your presentation skills and how eloquent you are and how you can speak other big, big English. Yes. So we want to want to hear that and want to also learn from you. That's what we want to do. So you, the book is already attached. So that's what we're going to be doing from week two up until the end of the training, which is going to be ending in the next 13 weeks because the book is quite intense and it's quite bulky. We initially planned for, for you to read two chapters, but that would be too much for you and you may not learn anything from it. So we broke it apart. So you take, you have more time to learn it. You have more time to review it and you can internalize what you are learning rather than just learning and then going home with nothing to write about, right? So you have that to do. And then at the end of the day, you would check who did well, who didn't do well, you know, we have awards. You might want to have a party, who knows, we share chin chin and pop off and you know, all those kind of things, we can do all that. But this is what, this is what it's going to look like for the next 13, 13 weeks, yeah, 15 weeks actually. So we're going to be doing so. After this week, you are free and then all you do is read your book, journal, um, do your assignments and then turn up for classes on Saturday. So I'm just gonna be showing us what the book also looks like. So you, you also find that on the learning platform. If you have any questions, you can just drop them in the chat box or ask and ask away. Let me share with you what the book looks like. 
and then we can start our training. Okay. So that's the book. Okay, so that's the book. So we're reading Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens. This is a an essential bestseller for you, and you would love reading the book. I've read it before, and many of us have read it, and we know that we still love reading it again. So you're going to enjoy reading this book, and we want you to take your time. If you have any questions, even at the point of reading before your presentation on Friday, on Saturday, you can always ask on your learning group. That's the WhatsApp group where everybody is. So you can always ask once you're reading. So you have the breakdown is already in that calendar. That's why I enjoin you to go to that platform, the learning platform and download the calendar, download the book and download the workbook that you use to answer your questions. All that um, in, um, notifications and information will be passed on your WhatsApp group afterwards. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Okay, I see some people have joined. Welcome. I think we're clear. I think we're all clear on what to do, right? Hi, guys. Are we clear on what to do? Okay, okay, okay. So I see some people have joined, just me. Do you want to tell us your name and who you are? Or you want to change your name? Okay, so just me, you're going to have to introduce yourself. You're going to tell us your name, what you like, what you don't like, and we're going to be unmuting you now. So please do that. Okay. Good evening, everyone. My name is Kusopo from Ezekiel. Um, there's really nothing I don't like except things that are not real and everything that neutral and everything okay, I like them. There's basically nothing else. So what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to improving in the way I speak, like my accent and presenting on stage, even in about 10 to 12 people of my age and people older. Okay, thank you, Pelumi. Don't worry, we are sure that you're going to improve on your presentation and confidence at the end of this training. Thank you. See you guys later. Okay. Woo. Hello, hello, everyone. How are you all doing? It's so nice to be here. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Felumi. Welcome, Tammy. Welcome, Molly. Uh, how many people can I see? Okay, let me see those I can call. Welcome, Daniel. Welcome, David. Welcome, welcome, Nifemi. It's nice to have everyone here, and I'm so glad you all registered for this program. You're welcome to day one of our intensive team calls with CAM. You're welcome. All right, so today, I'm just going to go straight to the activities of today. Today, we're going to be learning about self-leadership, self-leadership. And before I go on, I'll just introduce myself, okay? My name is Oluwatosin, Oluwatosin Olasomi, and I'm going to be facilitating today. And please, it's, it's an interactive session. Everybody can, you can drop your comments. I'll sure go back to the chat box to read. Um, 
And when I ask questions, please let's all participate because we're all here to learn. Nobody knows it all, so it's an interactive session. So please feel free to drop your comments. Please feel free to ask questions. You can stop me in between to ask your questions if you do not understand. Yeah. Um, okay, um, Dami, please, you can help um, share the slide. So I'll be speaking on self leadership, self leadership. But before we go into self leadership today, we would like to touch the basics of what exactly leadership is. What, and I will just um, give a, I'll just give a very fast definition of what leadership is because I'm sure a lot of us are leaders, even in, in our spheres. Some of us are, you know, um, class captains. Some of us are expos. Some of us are, I don't know, you are in one position or the other. So um, I'm sure this word or this terminology is not so new to you, but then I'll just give a very brief description and definition of what leadership is. So um, leadership is the ability of an individual or a group of individuals to influence, and I particularly like that word, influence, to influence and guide followers or other members of an organization. So you are not just a leader to fill in positions. You know, so many people today call themselves leaders but then what they do is just to sit in that seat of a leader but then they do not do anything but leadership is your ability the ability you have to be able to influence and guide followers or other members of an organization of a class of a community for some of us we find ourselves in leadership positions where they just say you know if you are not there we cannot do anything it means you have had a level of influence in that particular place and for somebody to be able to see you and say, this is a lead that we want to follow. That means you have been an influence to a category of people. You have unconsciously or consciously influenced people by your character or by the way you speak. I know, um, I can't remember, is the, the Ezekiel, yeah? I think I can't remember that, that name. He said um, he wants to be able to know how to speak, you know, to even um, a pair of 10 or 12. And you know, that is actually where leadership starts. You know, you're just in a class and it's in, it's in chaos and you just stand up and you are not the one in charge, but then you have assumed that leadership position. You've assumed that seat. So then people look up to you. People look up to you before they take any decision, before they take any action. So that is what leadership is about. Leadership is about influence. So if you say you want to be the governor of the state, you want to be the president, to what level have you influenced your, 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 your peer? To what, inf to what level have you influenced those that are even coming after you? To what extent have you influenced those who are ahead of you? You know, a leader is not just somebody that actually influences those who are around him, his age mates. So you can be a leader, you are ruling over people who are way, way, way yeah. older than you. That is what, that is leadership. That is leadership. And I like the second, the second point or the yeah. second definition about leadership and it says, Leadership involves making sound and sometimes difficult decisions. And so leadership is not just any decision. There are times when you need to sacrifice your own comfort. It means you sacrificing so many things. And that is why it says leadership involves making sound and sometimes difficult decisions, creating and articulating a clear vision. So if you do not have a, a vision, what are you running after? What are you following? So leadership means you having a clear vision of where you are leading or taking people to, establishing achievable goals. And I'm going to talk briefly about that. What goals have you set? Well, as we go into self-leadership, we'll talk more about these goals and providing followers with the knowledge and tools necessary to achieve these goals. So yeah, there is a bigger picture and you are the one at the forefront. So many times, even being a leader does not mean you have to be at the front. You can actually lead even just by serving. And that is one thing I'm going to also, service is leadership. Leadership is you being there to clean their legs, not literally clean their legs, but then you even taking the blame. So it's not just a member of your team, you know, does something wrong and you just push the person under the bus, no. It is you standing up for that fellow. It is you sometimes taking the heat a leader most times will take the heat and then you can go back and you know talk to your followers. But most times it is the leader. So when there is a group of people and something goes wrong, they will not ask the followers. 
they'll come and meet you that is the leader of that group. What went wrong? What happened? Even though it's not you that made that fault, it's not you that probably made the mistake, but it is you that gets the heat. So that is, it is about providing followers with the knowledge and tools that are necessary to achieve those goals. Now we'll go to the topic of today, self-leadership. What is self-leadership? Please feel free to drop, like I said, feel free to drop your comments in the, in the chat box. What is self-leadership? Um, okay, don't look at my definition. Just erase the definition in your, in your mind. Just assume that you have not seen my definition. So I'm going to, anybody, is there anybody that wants to define self-leadership based on your own understanding? Self-leadership, maybe based on the word or it's a compound word, yeah, self and leadership. It's even, there are three, you know, leadership. So what do you understand? What do you think? self-leadership is. I don't want to call names. Is there any volunteer? We're talking about leadership. Leadership is taking the fourth floor. Who wants to go first? That's leadership. <laughs> Anybody? Can they unmute or you have, they have to be unmuted? I'm not sure I can see. Um, who wants? Okay, I think David is trying. David, do you want to talk? Okay. Um, can they unmute or they have to be on mute. Can unmute. Okay, David, you can unmute. Okay. Self leadership is like the ability to like lead yourself to achieve your own goals. Absolutely, I love that. To achieve leading yourself to achieve your own goals. I love that. I love that definition. Um, any other definition? Would any other person like to define what self leadership is? Just looking at that word or what you think self-leadership is. Any other person? Should I should I start calling names? Self-leadership. Okay, so let me just define based on my own definition. It looks like everybody's shy. Maybe people will break out of this shyness. Yeah, so self-leadership is the ability to lead yourself to achieve your personal and professional goals and objectives while also helping the company, organization, or community you belong to attain success. And I like what David said. You know, he said it's, it's about you um, leading yourself to achieve your own goals. You know, to what extent can you actually force yourself to attain those goals? So... Um, the first thing is, have you even set those goals? So you need to have set goals and then have that ability to be able to lead yourself to attain those goals. So I will give myself, I'll give an example. So I, I, yesterday I made up the decision that I was going to wake up, you know, today by um, six o'clock and, you know, I do evenings. So I said, I want to start doing morning, you know, start taking walks in the morning. And about 12 a.m. I'm like, <laughs> I started giving myself excuses like I need to sleep I need to do this I need to do that I need to do I, I gave so many excuses and at the end of the day I did not go anywhere I was in my bed by six o'clock but self-leadership is you leading yourself to ensure that you achieve those goals that you set and also help so it means helping the company the organization or the community you belong to, even your family even you yourself to attain that set goal, that set objective, and to bring that community you belong to to attain success. That is self-leadership. And self-leadership entails self-discipline. Self-discipline. That is a very, very, very key factor, important factor that you cannot do without. For so many of us, we say we want to read our books, you know, but then we play games and the game is so interesting, you forget that you're supposed to read your books. And then you have a test tomorrow and you go to the exam hall and you're wondering, what am I going to write? I mean, you had time to read, but then you preferred to play a game and it affected you, yeah? So self-leadership is you having self-discipline to be able to achieve the goals that you set for yourself. That is what self-leadership is about. And I said, it involves having a good understanding of who you are a good understanding of who you are, where you want to go, and what you can accomplish. 
as well as having the ability to control your emotions and behavior in a way that guides you towards success. Ability to control your emotions, self-control. So you can see all these attributes that also form part of self-leadership. And I, the first one I mentioned is self-discipline. The second one I'm, I'm mentioning is self-control, self-control. You need to have self-control. You need to be able to guide, you know, control your emotions and behavior in a way that will guide you towards achieving success. And the first line says, it involves having a good understanding of who you are. So now I'm going to call somebody, tell me in three seconds, no, that's too short. In 30 seconds, I want you to sell yourself to me. Tell me who you are. So I'm just going to call a random person. Don't tell me your network is bad or don't do as if your microphone has spoiled. Let me look for who to call. Okay, Pelumi. Is, is Pelumi on the, still on the call? Yes, I can see you on the call. Pelumi, 30 seconds, sell yourself to me. Okay, I'm just me and I basically. <laughs> Yeah, just you, okay. I basically have nothing I really don't like because most of the times I'm always maintaining my own self and trying to respect myself, not to get embarrassed by someone who I'm way older than. And mm. If there's anything like mutual like ourselves, nothing more. Yeah. Hmm. I like that. Okay. Um, let me call somebody else. I am me. I day. Yes, man. Just day your lane. Uh, is that your midday on the call? Sell yourself to me in thirty seconds. Uh, well, okay. Don't let me say sorry because you people have not sold it. <laughs> so tell me about yourself in thirty seconds. I am midday. Can you hear me? Are you on the call? Hmm. Okay, I can hear you. Emily, I'm muted. If you are talking. Okay, let me let me call somebody else while I go back to Ayomidi. Okay, um, Tammy. Tell me about yourself in 30 seconds, like a good understanding of who you are. Tell me something that will make me know this is who you are. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you have to think about it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay. I have good advice. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> <I didn't know. laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. It seems I'm. I'm catching you people in our way. I'll come back to that question I asked and just uh, um, I'll go back to I'll go back to reading. So, I said so self I said self leadership. Okay. Okay, self-leadership involves having a good understanding of who you are, where you want to go, and what you can accomplish. The next one says self-leadership is the practice of understanding who you are, identifying your desired experiences, and intentionally guiding yourself towards them. Intentionally, you know, we've spoken about being deliberate, and now this is me talking about being intentional, being intentional about where you're going to, about where you're leading to. So self-leadership is the practice, practice of understanding who you are, identifying your desired experiences, and intentionally guiding yourself towards them, no matter um, 
the challenges that come along the way, no matter how tasking, no matter how difficult it is, you need to be able to be determined that I will get there. Like I will get there. So you need to keep saying it to yourself and keep asking. And it says it spans the determination of what we do, why we do it, and how we do it. So it's not just about the doing now. It's about what you are doing, why you are doing it, and how you want to, how you want to do it. So there is the place of measurement. You need to be able to measure how far you've gone. You need to be able to measure what you've done, what you're doing, and how it has impacted you and imparted other people. You know, you need to always do a self-analysis. Like look at yourself and say, what am I doing? How am I imparting mm. my generation? I mean, we do not just want to be that ordinary teenager that, that's just there and just passing by. We want to make a difference in the world. We want to make a change. We keep shouting, we are the change, we are the future, we are the leaders of tomorrow. But what are you doing to actually make sure that you are leaders of tomorrow? That is one thing we need to learn and we need to really understand. Now I'll, I'll go to the next um, slide and it speaks to the model of self-leadership. Now this model practically um, speaks to everything I would talk about today, the model of self-leadership. It encapsulates everything we've spoken about from beginning to the end, how we want to do what we want to do. And if you look at on my left, yeah, you would see character strengths in one of the, um, in one side of the circle, yeah? Character strengths. And you'll see strength-based decision-making and strength-based recovery, character strengths. So what are your strengths? What are your character strengths? Where do you think you need to really work on? Where do you think you, you know that you are standing very firm and very strong and you know that, yes, this is really going to impart my nation. This is going to impart the generation that is coming after me. So these are things you need to model, you need to work on based on self-leadership. These are things you need to prune. These are things you need to grow. These are things you know that for you to actually become a leader, to a leader not just um, by position, Yeah, we all have our abilities. So I'm going to be asking some of us for what I'm going to be asking us for our talents. Please let me know if you can hear me. Can you hear me clearly? If you can hear me, just um give me a thumbs up. If you can hear me, okay. Joy can hear me. Can every other person hear me? Let me just be sure. Well, wow. yes, okay. Thank you, David. Okay, I just wanted to hear you, Ma. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. All right. So on the other side, we have abilities and talents. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to be sure I'm not talking to myself since. <laughs> okay, so we have abilities and talents. So I want you to tell me what you can do. And you know that if I give you a contract, you will you will execute to the very end. Um, let me call somebody I've not called before. Let me check my, my attendance list. Hmm. Okay, Daniel, have I called Daniel? No, Daniel, tell me what you can do. If I give you a contract, you would, like, you, you, you'll finish, you'll, you'll finish it. Like you'll do it perfectly. Um, I don't, can you repeat the question? Okay, I said, tell me what you can do. Like if I give you a contract now, just a contract, tell me what you can do that if I give you a contract, you will execute to the very last. That's your talent, you know, what you can do so well, like so well. Oh, I, know, I know how to make beads, so. Are you serious? You know how to make beads, wow. You, okay, yeah. did you say beads or bead? Yeah. Beads, beads. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> oh wow, that, that's good, that's good. So, um. If I give you our track now, you know, I'm a music producer. <laughs> they give you my track, you can beats. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're a producer, right? Yes, sir. Ah, I blow. <laughs> I blow. So I don't need to make pay money. <laughs> okay, thank you, Daniel. Thank you. 
Um, who have I not called? Ah, Ayamide, we escaped before. Hmm. Is Ayamide on the call? Okay, yes, unmuted. Okay, what, what's your talent? What can you do so well? Well, I know how to edit videos. You know how to edit videos? Hey. Yeah. I blow, I blow, I blow. Are you doing a video of this thing so that you edit and, you know, so that this way video I sent. <laughs> okay, so you can edit videos and what? Um, muted. Okay, so I am media can edit videos. Daniel can um, make beats. Please, I think at this point we need to do team post. Um, simple talent. I don't know what to. Simple video, everything. Exactly, we're ready for. <laughs> okay, let me see. Who else have I not called? I've not called Molly. Have I called Molly? No. Okay, so Molly, what's your talent? <laughs> um, I I can't really. Um, I can't hear you clearly. Can't really think of one. Ah, wow. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'll I'll ask again. I'll ask. I'll ask you at the end of the at the end of the session. Maybe there you'll be able to think of one. I'm sure there's something you really can do that you're so good at. But maybe you're maybe you're too you're shy to name it. But I'm sure that there is something you can do perfectly well. You know that just brings you so much joy doing there must, there must be something. So, well, um, thank you all for, you know, that, that that was really nice. So abilities and talent, yes, psychological capital, mindfulness, job crafting, you know, these are parts of um, things you really need to improve on, you know, these are parts of the model of self-leadership. And another thing below, you see interest and aspirations. What are things you aspire for? What are things that interest you? You know, what are things that you know that you can build yourself on? These are your interests and, and aspirations. And you see underneath it, you have purposeful vision. So what have you envisioned that in the next, you know, maybe um, maybe Daniel sees himself, you know, making beats for the biggest gospel artists, you know? What have you envisioned? What have you seen yourself do? Authentic engagement. How are you engaging your mind? How are you engaging other people to be able to also improve yourself? And then we have environmental strengths, environmental strengths. And under environmental strengths, you have high quality connections. So under self-leadership, it's not just about your own personal strength. How do you interact with people around you? How do you interact with your community? How do you interact with other people that can also help you grow? Because no man is an island here. Yeah? So we need to interact with other people. We need to be able to interact, you know, get other people's opinions. And getting other people's opinions means these are practical ways of which you can actually improve what you do. These are ways you can get better at what you do. You know, you might make a beat. Um, I'm using Daniel as So you might make a beat and in your ears, it sounds perfect. And someone else listens to it and is like, oh, why don't you add this? Why don't you add that? And you add it and it makes wow. And you're like, oh, wow. So it's because you really didn't just keep it to yourself and say, I'm the best. I'm the master in this. Yeah. So we're all learning. And that is why that, that is one of the aim of this team course initiative. It's for us to share collective ideas on how we can grow and become better leaders because we're all leaders here. Yeah? We're all leaders in our classes, in everywhere we are, our church, name it. We are leaders, but then we just need to be able to interact more, you know, um, glean from other people's experiences. And that is how it makes you a better leader, yeah? So the next slide says, why is self-leadership, why is self-leadership important? And I just put just one point because I, I practically wanted to elaborate on this. And it says self-leadership is important because it is necessary to help you accomplish your set goals. That is one. And you know, I've spoken about goals. So um, I don't know how many of us have learned to actually set goals for ourselves. And you know, there's this thing we do, you know, at the end of the year, we say, um, these are the things I want to achieve in 2022. These are things I want to achieve 
I'm sure last year, you know, we we're probably at home. We didn't go to church for the Christmas service. And some of us at home just wrote down points, you know, what do they call it again? You know, that thing you write, um, that thing you write at the, what you want to do at the beginning of the year. There's one word we call it, you know, some of us wrote that down and were like, okay, um, this is where I want to see myself in 2021. Um, exactly, thank you, Achikade. Resolution, you know, this is what I want to do. I want to build a house in 2022. I want to be able to have a mansion. I want to, you know, so many things, so many things. But how many of us are actually working towards achieving the goals that we have set down for ourselves? So it, like I said earlier, it's not just about what you do, it is how you do it. What are you doing to achieve that thing? What steps are you taking to become a better person? For some of us, we just said, oh, you know what? I want to learn how to pray, um, pray for longer hours. I want to learn how to fast. I want to learn how to write. Somebody said he wants to learn how to, how to speak better English, you know, how to speak, improve his accent. And I love that. You know, it takes, it, it comes from a place of accepting, the, accepting that weakness, you know, you need as a leader, and that is part of self-leadership, accepting your weakness and I say, you know what, I know I'm not so strong in this area, and you knowing that you need help. So he said he wants to learn how to be able to talk. Oh, wow, that is so beautiful. You know, it is something I also want to learn. I'm not perfect, even whether I studied English or not, forget it. It's not about studying English. You know, some of us are just going to class. I saw that I'm in class and my mind is making money. You know, we've gone to class, gone to school, gone to, and the English is not, and you're like, okay, so this is what I want to do. I really need to work on my English. I really need to learn how to be better. And it is you accepting your weakness. Like I said earlier, are you accepting those weaknesses and saying, you no, know, this is where I'm coming from. This is where I want to get to. This is where I see myself getting to. That is, so it is, Self-leadership is important because it is necessary to help you accomplish all your set goals and be a good leader. If you've not led yourself, trust me, you cannot lead people. If you've not led yourself, if you've not had self-control in certain things, if they give you 10,000 Naira as pocket money, what do you do with that 10,000 Naira? Do you just immediately go and buy food and say, well, I'm hungry. I cannot come and kill myself. You go and buy all the food with 10,000 Naira. If you don't have self-control, how would you be able to manage a bigger fund? So if God cannot trust you with little, how would he trust you with much? So to be a good leader, you need to learn how to manage, manage, have self-control. So there are things that are so pleasing to the eyes, to the body, but it is not everything that would actually help your body. It is not everything that would actually improve your mind. It is not everything that would improve your well-being. So self-leadership is paramount because it helps you to accomplish those set goals. And I would be giving you an assessment or an assignment later for you to know what you need to do. And I said, it's not just to be a good leader to others, but most importantly to yourself. When you're able to lead yourself, that is when you can say, yes, other people can follow. You don't need to announce to people that I am the president of the world before people begin to follow you, yeah? I mean, you are, you are a leader. If they elect you as the um, treasurer, you don't need anybody. Nobody needs to come and, of course, they know that it is your responsibility. So even by your character and, and attributes that you portray, people know that, man, I need to learn from this person. And so look at yourself and do a self-analysis and see in the last um, six months, who have I imparted? In the last six months, who have I taught? Who has come to learn from me? There are people who unconsciously, they actually learn from me, but you do not know. But is your character worth emulating? Is your character worth, you know, other people looking at and say, I want to be like Tammy, I want to be like Molly. Do people look at you and see that? Like, I want to learn what she's learning. I want to go after what she is going after. And that is what we need to learn as leaders. That is what self-leadership is all about. It is about improving yourself so that you become a better leader and be in a better position to serve. Like, remember I said it in the, in the beginning, that leadership is about service. It's not just about you going there because of the title. It's not just about you going there because of fame, but it's because you want to serve other people. You want to serve. You want to be able to 
to give, to give yourself, to give yourself, not giving yourself literally, but giving your time to, to bring hope to other people, to give happiness, to put a smile on someone's face. That is leadership. And that is you taking that mantle of leadership upon yourself. So quickly, I'll go to the, um, there is a quick assessment. Um, so now I want you to ask yourself these questions. It is not for you to answer here, but you need to score yourself or rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. And just look through all these statements. I establish specific goals for my own performance on a scale of one to 10. I make a point to keep track of how well I'm doing at work or at school. I work towards specific goals I have set for myself. For some of us, like I said, we just set goals, but we do not work towards them. I visualize myself successfully performing a task before I do it, or do I just jump into it without even thinking? Sometimes I picture in my mind a successful performance before I actually do a task. When I've successfully completed a task, I often reward myself with something I like. Woo, that is me, 10. I saw myself 10. Because when I finish something, I must enjoy. Sometimes I talk to myself out loud or in my head to walk through difficult situations here. I try to mentally evaluate the accuracy of my own beliefs about situations I'm having problems with. I think about my own beliefs and assumptions whenever I encounter a difficult situation. So these are statements I need you to rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. You, um, we will give you access to the working to the assignment sheet or the worksheet so that you can actually score yourself. You know, I would like to see you know, where we are, what we do with the set goals that we've spoken about. So this is something you need to go back on to chew on and think, think deeply, you know, where, I, where, where exactly am I? That will be all for today. And there is the assignment, um, which you will also see when you get to your worksheet. It's already in your worksheet. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? And what goals do you think you need to set to get there? Please, please, I'd like to see these um, questions. If you need clarifications, we're available on the group and um, post your questions. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And I think I've come to the end of my session. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, over to you. Um, Wow, thank you so much for such an interesting session. I feel like I'm a teenager already. <laughs> wow, thank you, Ma. Um, before we quickly go to the question and answer session, um, there are some of us that just joined and uh, I'd like you to introduce yourself. Ayomide Omoyeni, can you quickly introduce yourself and um, tell us your likes or dislikes and your expectation from this camp. Yeah. Um, oh. <sighs> um, my name is Ayomiti Ramuri. Okay, tell us um, about you, yourself, and your expectations. I mean, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm easy going. Um, I'll type, I'll... <laughs> Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, let's quickly, Ayomide, okay. Please kindly, um, we have two Ayomides here. The other Ayomide, please. Can you kindly unmute yourself? <laughs> oh, sorry about that. It's still the same, Miami. They I gave him my phone to use, so I just worked on his phone now. Oh, so okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Who else haven't? Uh, I think uh, that's the. All right, um, Sister Joy, 
you take over ma for the questions hello everyone hello can you hear me okay well welcome everybody thank you for showing up thank you molly thank you Bellumi. thank you david um thank you ayomide yes ayomide thank you ayomide thank you daniel thank you for coming really appreciate your coming so we would like to take your questions a lot has been said by luato saying on self leadership so what questions do you have from the topic that was thoughts I'd like to take your questions any where you need clarification we would like to hear from you if you get everything do you want to share some things or you want to access some things we are open so let us talk um hello okay i mean i need to call names so can daniel tell us what he learned from here i'll be on mute asking you to your mute so you tell me what you've learned from what social thought of this evening so daniel you can unmute and answer hello daniel Daniel, is nobody, are you, can you hear me? Nobody's answering, actually. You okay, can Daniel, hear you. Nobody else. Can I can't. We can hear you. Daniel, can you, okay. Okay, we can hear you, Daniel. You can ask your question. Daniel, hello. Maybe it's not online. Okay, okay. Let us um, hear from Molly. Molly, are you there? Can you answer? Hi. Hello. Repeat the question. Okay. Do you have any questions from what was thoughts today? No, I don't. Okay. Can you tell us what you learned? One thing that stood out for you. I the lot one thing that stood out for you in today's lesson. We had a lot. Yeah. Okay. Right now, I can't think of anything. So after this, I'll have to rewatch the replay because. Okay. 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 Yeah. I, I have a question for you. What does it mean to, um, to have self leadership? For what I think it means from my understanding, it means to, to it means show um Hello, I see talking. I can't hear you. You should be there. Oh sorry, I thought I was I'm I'm still here. Okay, okay. You hear me? I say something. Yeah, um, I think self leadership is being able to um, figure out your leadership, your leadership points, and the way you want people to see you as as a leader. That's very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, David is CJ. Are you are you online? Yes, ma. Okay. Do you have any questions for us? No, not really. I should ask you my question. How okay. intentional can you be in self leadership? Ma? How intentional can you be when in leading yourself? How intentional can you be? What do you do? Have to do in leading yourself? What do you do? Maybe that's better. Um, I think you have to find your character strengths, your abilities and talents. Okay. 
Have you ever set a goal for yourself before? Yes. And were you able to carry them out? All yeah, some yeah. Well, it yeah, was not, somehow, it somehow. Was, yeah, yeah, somehow. So, but with this, I I think you want to work on it more intentionally. So you yes, can that your goal. Yes. Proud of yourself, you know. If you complete your goal, you can buy an, buy a bowl of ice cream for yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. So I'll be calling Melumi. Thank you, David. Melumi, you can unmute and ask your question. Hello, Melumi. Okay. I, I can't any, hear you. I don't have any question. Don't have any. Okay. Why is self leadership important? Self leadership is important because naturally it is important because mm -hmm. really we can't just stay without knowing what we can do and just walking up and down, aiming for nothing. So I feel like it's very important to get our own selves and to get what we can do best, not just to be everywhere and doing rubbish. <laughs> okay, so it means it's not good to just be working aimlessly. You have to have an aim. You have to have a purpose for each day. You wake up each day with a schedule. This is what I want to do today. This is what I want to achieve. I would like to achieve today and intentionally work towards it because you can be called at any time. Like it's so things said, said you can be called, called at any time in your school, in your community, or um, maybe in the church. Just called you or come and lead this um, group of people, come and take care of this um, assignment. And uh, in the course of, our, of the lecture, we saw that we had a lot of talents around. You know? mm -hmm. So they could just call you and come and give us this bit. And you are not prepared for it. So, so to, be, to, to be able to lead very well, you have to be prepared at all times. And that starts from you when there's nobody there when you are just alone with yourself. So prepare ahead so that when you are called to take those positions, you are able to take them without any stress. Thank you for me. I appreciate Thank you for the rest. So what about you? Um, let me think. Am I here to call? Have I called? OK, I'm not called Kendi. Kendi, can you unmute and ask your question? Kendi, Oluwa, Kemi, Kemi. Oluwa, Kemi, Kemi. I hope I got that. Ma, I don't have a question. Okay, so what do you understand by model of self leadership? I have a question. Hello. Ma, like your character strengths, abilities and talents, environmental strengths, and interests and aspirations. Oh, that's good. Thank you so much. That means you've been taking notes. Thank you, Kende. I appreciate that. What is asking me any question? Nobody, everybody just allowing me to just go like that without stressing her. She needs to be stressed a little. Ask us one very difficult question. We want to stress her a little. Anybody? Somebody? Nobody. All right. Thank you so much for the questions. Thank you. It shows that you were taking notes. And those of us that didn't take notes can always go back to watch the replay. The replay will be on the learning platform. Watch the replay and take notes and work on it. Tomorrow is going to be very interesting. Guess what we're going to be doing tomorrow? We're going to be watching a video. Very, very interesting video. I'm sure that you're going to like it. I'm sure that you're going to learn very well from it. I want you to invite your friends that have already started. Just tell them, tell them your experience that you had today. Tell them what you learned today and tell them about tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be wow. And all those talents that we talked about, I want to see them displayed live here tomorrow. So we're expecting you to come with your friends, with your neighbors, with your... Any, anybody around that attends, just bring them. You know, my brother say something that, you know, I am advising you as a brother, as a friend, and as an enemy. So if you can invite your enemy, good. the better. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. So 
if there are no further questions and no further um no further questions i just begin to appreciate god for the time well spent remember tomorrow the same time tomorrow if you have any questions you can always ask on the whatsapp group for somebody to attend to your questions so somebody to give you a favorable answer and direct you to where you should go or what you should do let's say just begin to appreciate god now for the time well spent the lord has been good the lord has been favorable the lord has kept the weather for us the lord has made us to go to school and to come back for those that have gone to school the lord has given us this great opportunity to come together as a team let's appreciate him let's give him all the glory and if we say thank you we give you praise and we give you glory we say thank you because on our own we can do nothing but you have given us strength and given us the grace you have brought us here you have taught us valuable lessons about our lives we pray that this lesson will do us good in the name of jesus even as we go back even this night even this afternoon lord as we begin to meditate on what we have learned as we watch should we replay as we think about what was said father let them begin to yield good results in our lives in the name of jesus begin to sow good seeds in us in the name of jesus give us the grace and the boldness that we need even to stand as leaders in our various capacities in the name of jesus Thank you, Daddy. Thank you for our parents. Thank you for our siblings. Thank you, Lord, for the remaining of today. Father, take charge and take control. Let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Sister Dami, do you have anything to say? Oh, amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. It was such an exciting time. Yay. And well done to everybody that answered. Um, welcome to Ibuka and Chi Chi Samuel. Don't worry, I know that you, you're feeling bad because you've missed out. No, you didn't miss out. There's going to be a recording and it's going to be placed in your learning platform. So just put, just go back to your learning platform after in a couple of hours and you have the videos to download. So well done, everybody. I would love to see you again tomorrow. Like um, she mentioned earlier, that we're going to be watching a video. So come with your eyes, come with your glasses. <laughs> we're going to have an interesting time tomorrow and also invite your friends. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Don't forget Bye. your popcorn.